welcome student uh, in this uh, ct lecture so in this lecture student uh, we are uh, first going to revise what we have studied in our previous theory lecture that means we have to revise in brief about uh, the post fertilization changes and in that we have to revise in brief uh, about the development of embryo inside the angiosperm welcome student uh, in this uh, lecture so today uh, in this lecture we are going to study the post fertilization changes in angiosperm so uh, till today we are discussed uh, the fertilization process in angiosperm uh, and uh, then uh, next to the fertilization uh, we are going to discuss now uh, the post fertilization changes so what happened in the post fertilization changes uh, since student uh, the post post fertilization post fertilization changes okay post fertilization changes okay post fertilization changes so in angiosperm after fertilization what is going to develop there uh, there is a development of the first one embryo okay first embryo then it is followed by uh, the development of the endosperm okay endosperm the third thing it is uh, after the development of endosperm means embryo and endosperm the entire ovule it is converted to converted into seed so there is a seed formation okay seed formation okay there is a seed formation then the fourth uh, step automatically it is the fruit formation okay fruit formation so these are uh, the post fertilization changes seen in the angiosperm so today uh, we are going to discuss the first post fertilization change that is the embryo development okay student that is the embryo development so see uh, in this embryo development uh, remember uh, we have to study the embryo development as per your syllabus but remember student uh, this embryo development okay it is uh, the is such a type of embryo development means which are included in your syllabus that embryo development it is the crucifer okay crucifer or or onagrad onagrad type of embryo development okay crucifer or onagrad type of embryo development So, student, why such type of the names are given? Crucifer or onagra type of embryo development? Uh, remember, here the we use or means uh, such a type of embryo development. It is firstly observed uh, or it is firstly studied in cruciferi family. Okay, cruciferi family. So the name is given crucifer type of embryo development. Okay, then uh, here uh, onagra. okay onagra type of uh, embryo development means it is firstly developed in onagrasi family so the name is given uh, onagra okay onagra uh, embryo development so here the crucifer or onagra type of embryo development so this in this crucifer or onagra type of embryo development this embryo development it is endoscopic okay this embryo development it is endoscopic so student what is mean by the endoscopic uh, embryo development in this type of embryo development the apex of embryo is uh, downward towards the center of the embryo sac so uh, in the endoscopic in the endoscopic type of embryo development which are seen in case of these crucifer or onagra type of embryo development or whatever the uh, the embryo development uh, today we are going to study such a type of embryo development it is called as endoscopic 
So what is the endoscopic? Means the apex of uh, em embryo during development, they are placed downwardly towards the center of embryo sac. So they are downward towards the inside. Okay, they are downward. downward towards towards inside inside the embryo sac okay downward towards inside the embryo sac so such a type of uh, the embryo development it is called as the endoscopic embryo development so student you remember uh, it is a why it is a crucifer or onagrad type of embryo development and why it is a endoscopic embryo development. Okay, uh, then uh, next to uh, that, we immediately move towards the how the embryo is developed inside uh, the angiosperm. But before that, student, I you know what is mean by the embryo or what is the embryo or what type of embryo seen in the angiospermic plant? Just like uh, uh, the human being, what is the human embryo? Uh, or in our case, what is the embryo? Aplya madhe, mansa madhe, embryo kasa asto ki apan jala choto baal ki jala apan ki je aicha pota madhe asta jala apan embryo asa manto man jala kaya asta ki jala pai asta, jala haat asta, jala doka asta ane jala teche body hi aste, baro bhai? मग याला आपण एम्ब्रियो म्हणतो की ज्याला डोक हात पाय आहे याला आपण माणसाचा एम्ब्रियो असं म्हणतो बरोबर आहे मग वनस्पतीचा एम्ब्रियो विशेष करून एंजियोस्पमचा एम्ब्रियो म्हणजे काय किंवा तो कसा दिसतो मग एंजियोस्पमचा एम्ब्रियो जसं इकडे माणसासारखं डोक हात पाय दिसतात तसं मग याच्यामध्ये वनस्पतीचा एम्ब्रियो म्हणजे त्या एम्ब्रियो मध्ये काही मूळ खोड पान फांद्या वगैरे असं काही दिसत का तर असं दिसत नाही मग वनस्पतीचा किंवा हा या एनजीओस्पम मध्ये तो एम्ब्रिओ कसा असतो तर ते अगोदर आपण समजावून घेऊया इन शॉर्ट सो रिमेंबर द एम्ब्रिओ इन केस ऑफ एनजीओस्पम दे आर हॅव्हिंग द थ्री मेन पार्ट अँड टू रिजन ओके थ्री मेन पार्ट अँड द टू रिजन सो वॉट आर द थ्री मेन पार्ट ऑफ दॅट एम्ब्रिओ See, suppose uh, this is uh, the axis, okay, and to that axis, uh, these cotyledons they are attached to the axis, okay. Uh, this axis of uh, the embryo it is called as a tigellum, okay. It is called as a tigellum. So this is the axis, and at the first nodal region of that axis, the cotyledons it is developed. So this is the cotyledon student, and what is this portion? This portion it is called a plumule. Okay, this is the plumule, and what is this? This is the radical. Okay, this is the radical. So these are the three main parts of embryo. In case of angiosperm, plumule, radical, cotyledon. Okay, plumule, radical, and cotyledon are radical, plumule, and uh, here uh, they attach the cotyledons. Okay, so these are the three main parts. Then what are the two regions? The region which are present on the axis above the cotyledon means this region. Okay, and the region which are present on the axis but they are placed below the cotyledon, that region it is called as a, uh, this, this region, it is called as a hypopotyl region. Okay, hypopotyl region. And region above the cotyledon and below uh, the plumule. It is called as a uh, epicotyl region. Okay, it is called as a epicotyl region. Okay, student, this is a epicotyl region. So, in angiospermic plants, the embryo, they are having the three main parts and two regions. Okay, so uh, such a type of the embryo develop, development we are to study today okay we have to study uh, today but uh, that embryo development uh, it is mostly observed in cruciferi family and on aggressive family so as per that uh, we have to study the embryo development first in dicot plant in dicot plant how the embryo is developed 
फर्स्ट वे आर टू स्टडी हिम एज पर द डेवलपमेंट स्टडीड इन क्रूसिफेरी फैमिली एंड ओन अग्रेसिव फैमिली ओके एंड नेक्स्ट टू दैट वे मूव टूवर्ड्स द एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट इन केस ऑफ द मोनोकॉट ओके इन केस ऑफ द मोनोकॉट सो सी स्टूडेंट द एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट इन केस ऑफ द डायकॉट सो लेट्स सी नाउ द एम्ब्रियो डेवलपमेंट इन डायकॉट डायकॉट okay embryo development in dicot see how the embryo is developed uh, uh, student remember the embryo where it is developed the after fertilization embryo development begins so as usual well, this is above this is the anatropous ovule okay as usual well, this is the anatropous ovule okay student so these are the integuments So this is the anatropous ovule. So from where student embryo development begins, it is development begins uh, from the zygote. So this is the zygotic cell. Okay, this is the zygote. Okay, zygotic cell. And what is this? This is the P E N. Okay, P E N means primary endosperm nucleus, which are triploid. And zygotic cell it is diploid. So from this zygotic cell uh, there is a beginning of the embryo development okay and from this pen okay from this pen uh, there is a further development of endosperm so remember student uh, at what time the embryo development begins in the angiosperm uh, when there is a sufficient development of the endosperm inside then after the sufficient development of endosperm uh the embryo development begins in the angiosperm okay so uh listen now uh the how the embryo is developed so this zygote okay in the next step uh the this zygote suppose this is uh this zygote okay this zygote uh in the next step they secrete a thick wall around itself so this is the zygote the zygote they secrete the thick wall thick wall around itself so such a type of uh, the uh, zygote having the thick wall around itself it is called as the oospore okay that structure it is called as the oospore so here it is oospore formation okay oospore formation so student uh, oospore means what when the zygote they secrete a thick wall around itself it is called as a oospore then what is a oospear uh, so oospear means the female gamete it is called as a oospear means egg and uh, cell it is called as a oospear okay and so remember oospore and oospear these are the two different terms used for the two different parts okay so uh, you remember so uh, thick wall around uh, the zygote it is called as oospore then after that uh, in this there is a one transverse division okay transverse transverse division and that transverse division it is mitotic okay transverse division it is mitotic and there is a formation of uh, the two cells okay there is a formation of the two cells okay uh, these two cells the one cell they are directed toward this micropyle okay and one cells they are directed toward the chalasa okay so this uh, cell they are directed towards the micropyle this cell it is called as the basal cell okay this is the basal cell and the cell which are present towards the chalasa it is called as a terminal cell Okay, terminal cell. So this is a basal cell, 
and terminal cell. Then this basal cell, student remember, this basal cell, uh, they are directed toward this micropyle, okay, this uh, micropyle, that basal cell, it acts as a suspensor cell emission, okay, it acts as a suspensor cell initial okay it acts as a suspensor cell initial means from this basal cell student uh, further the suspensor is developed okay further the suspensor it is developed from the basal cell then uh, student see the uh, terminal cell which are present toward the chalaza from that terminal cell uh, or that terminal cell it acts as a embryonal cell okay embryonal cell initial okay embryonal cell initial means uh, the terminal cell which are present toward the chalasa from that terminal cell uh, what is going to develop the embryo is going to develop okay embryo uh, it is going to develop uh, so uh, see uh, how so this is the two cell stage pro embryo okay this is the two cell stage pro embryo so you remember this is the two cell stage okay two cell stage okay this is the two cell stage uh, pro embryo as usual they are having uh, the uh, not a uh, student this these are the two cell stage it is not a uh, two cell stage uh, pro embryo we never say the two cell stage but the two cells are formed okay so uh, they say the two cells are formed okay here the formation of the two cells okay and what are those two cells the one is the basal cell and another one it is terminal cell the basal cell it acts as a suspensor cell initial and the terminal cell it acts as a embryonal cell initial then uh, there is a further uh, rapid division takes place in the terminal cell as well as in this suspensor cell but remember uh, in this suspensor cell this suspensor cell that divides again and again and uh, that division it is a transverse division okay the, that division it is a transverse division and uh, uh, in the uh, terminal embryonal cell they all the divisions are longitudinal and exactly right angle to each other okay so in the upper remember in the upper terminal cell okay or that embryonal cell initial the three successive division takes place and along with that simultaneously in the lower suspensor cell there is a continuous transverse division and there is a formation of the 6 to 10 cell long suspensor okay so see uh, for the divisions in the upper uh, embryonal cell okay divisions in the upper embryonal cell see the first division uh, here uh, there is a formation of uh, this type of the structure okay such type of the structure so the first division it is a first longitudinal division in the embryonal cell and there is a formation of the two celled embryo now student this is the two celled embryo and here uh, the uh, division in the suspensor cell but student remember uh, the suspensor they going to develop further and the suspensor they are having the one terminal cell toward the micropylar side that terminal cell they are larger and that cell it acts as a hostorial cell okay toward this micropylar side this cell it acts as a hostorial cell so this is hostorial cell okay uh, which are placed toward the micropylar region of embryo sac this is the suspensor okay this is the suspensor and this is the two celled okay embryo okay two celled embryo so two celled embryo uh, it is followed by another division and that division it is exactly right angle to first okay that division it is exactly right angle to first means as such a type of the division uh, it is seen uh, it is exactly right angle to first division 
okay exactly right angle to the force and this is uh, I, well, this is the half to real side so in this this is the force division okay this is the vertical force division okay this is the force division so as you know this is uh, we have to say force division okay and then uh, so as you know this is the force division okay force division so there is a formation of the two cells then it is followed by the second division but that second division it is exactly right angle to first so how we show here uh, this is the second division okay this is the second division means exactly right angle to first and there is a formation of the four cells okay there is a formation of the four cells so this is uh, the four cells okay four cell stage in the embryo okay and so this as usual uh, this is student suspension okay this is the suspension and uh, this is the hostorial cell which are placed towards the uh, microphylar region then it is followed by uh, the next step and next division uh, but here at this four cell stage remember the cell cell of this suspensor okay cell of this suspensor remember this cell of this suspensor a uh, near to embryonal mass that cell it is called as hypophysis cell okay hypophysis cell student what is the function of this suspensor this is because of this uh, the suspensor or uh, this is type of the thread like suspensor this embryonal mass they push deep inside the endosperm because from this cell what is going to develop further the endosperm so inside the endosperm because of this suspensor this embryonal mass they push deep inside the endosperm so because of uh, this is type of the plasmid okay such type of the plasmid that developing embryo they can easily receive the food material from the surrounding uh, surrounding endosperm so remember uh, such a type of the embryo development uh, it is called as uh, the endoscopic type of embryo development i was mentioned before during the beginning of this lecture what is meant by the endoscopic then uh, the next division it is most important yeah, so this is a four cell stage okay this is the four cell stage uh, embryo uh, then this is the two cell stage embryo then it is followed by okay it is followed by uh the another division and again that another division it is the transverse division okay another division it is a transverse division so uh, this is the another transverse division means exactly uh, transverse to this okay so transverse division and there is a formation of uh the homocell student the four is converted into eight okay four is converted to eight so uh, this is the eight cell embryo so this eight cell embryo uh, it plays a most important role or you know, from this eight cell stage there is a uh, further differentiation of the embryonal part okay so uh, remember student at this uh, there is a formation of uh, the 6 to 10 cell stage suspension so this is a uh, this is a hypophysial cell so as usual this is student hypophysial cell and this is the suspension okay this is residual suspension but that suspension here it is the 6 to 10 cells in length okay 6 to 10 cells in length so this is a 1 2 3 4 5 and here it is a 6 or here it is a 7 and there is a formation of uh, the hostorial cell okay or formation of this is the hostorial cell so this is hostorial cell okay this is the hostorial cell what is the function of the hostorial cell the hostorial cell uh, they suck the food material uh, from the micropylar region of the ovule during the embryo development so hostorium means it is a sucking cell okay means they suck the food material they cover the maximum area because they are having the larger size okay and because of that they serve the food material and they transfer that food material through the suspensor towards the developing embryo so eight cell stage embryo so this eight cell stage embryo remember uh, student these are uh, the 
here it is our pore cells okay and here in uh, these are the pore cells so two tires are formed okay this tire uh, the upper tire it is called the epibasal tire okay e epibasal tire okay epibasal tire and the lower tire which are present towards the micropyle it is called as a hypo basal okay hypo basal tire so this eight cell stage so these are these are the eight cell stage stage embryo this is eight cell stage embryo the four cells they are present in upper tire and the other four cells are present in the lower tire so this upper four cells uh, they are called as epibasal tire and lower four cells they are called as hypobasal tire so this from this upper tire means epibasal tire what is further developed uh, the plumule okay plumule and cotyledon it is developed from this upper tire or from this epibasal tire okay plumule and uh, the cotyledon they are developed from the epibasal tire remember uh, in case of dicot from the epibasal tire there is a development of the two cotyledon and in case of the monocot there is a development of one cotyledon uh, so remember student from this stage the development of the uh, embryo in case of dicot and monocot is different means what Uh, in case of dicot from the epibasal tire there is a development of the two cotyledon and in between the two cotyledon okay in between the two cotyledon there is a placement of the plumule inside and uh, in case of monocot from the epibasal tire only one cotyledon is developed and plumule they are pull push towards the lateral side and the cotyledon they acquire the maximum area towards the upper side in the sense towards the center of uh, the central cell okay then from the hypobasal tire what is developed okay from the hypobasal tire what is developed from this hypobasal tire hypocotyle and the radical is developed so from this the hypocotyle okay hypocotyle of embryo and radical radical of embryo it is developed from the hypobasal tire so you remember student then the next to that what is the function of this hypophysis the function of hypophysis uh, in the embryonal stage means in the final stage the hypophysis they develop the part of radical and the root cap what they develop this hypophysis they further develop the uh, part okay part of radical part of radical and what they develop they develop the root cap okay they develop the root cap so remember student this eight cell stage embryo okay this eight cell stage embryo it is most important okay it is most important uh, as far as uh, the crucifer or ponagrad type of embryo development is concerned okay so uh, here student uh, we are studied the embryo development up to uh, the eight cell stage embryo okay up to eight cell stage embryo okay uh, now uh, we will uh, go towards the next stage of embryo development see student uh, now uh, the further development right from the eight cell stage embryo okay from this eight cell stage embryo remember uh, there is a rapid division uh, in the epibasal tire as well as in the hypobasal tire of that eight cell stage embryo and uh, there is a formation of the globular embryo okay there is a formation of the globular embryo but that globular stage it is not given in your uh, new syllabus but remember uh, the first the globular uh, stage is developed and that globular stage in the sense uh, the balloon like embryonal mass is developed first after the eight cell stage after that uh, there is a formation of the heart shaped embryo the heart shaped embryo 
uh, that heart shaped embryo they shows the emergence of the two cotyledonary portions so this this is the one cotyledonary portion and this is the another cotyledonary portion and in between this cotyledonary portion there is a placement of the plumule or there is a development of the plumule inside okay and here uh, uh, this is a long suspensor as usual and uh, uh, this uh, this is the hosterial cell which are present towards the micropyle region they do its function means they receive the food material whatever food material available towards the micropyle region and they send their food material towards the developing embryo then after that uh, the heart shaped embryo uh, such a type of the embryo is developed okay such type of the embryo is developed in the sense there is a rapid elongation of the hypocotyl region so from this side of the heart shaped embryo the hypocotyl region uh, they get differentiated and uh, there is a rapid elongation in the hypocotyl region okay this hypocotyl region they get uh, elongated and because of the elongated hypocotyl region uh, this uh, the this heart shaped embryo they bend downward okay they bend downward so the bending of the heart shaped embryo or the two cotyledonary portion it is due to maximum growth in hypocotyl region okay so such a type of the embryo it is seen after the heart shaped stage because of the rapid elongation of the hypocotyl region so there is a clear cut differentiation of uh, the root cap over the uh, the hypocotyl region because of uh, towards this side okay towards the micropyle side there is a development of the radical and over that radical further uh, there is a formation of the root cap over that radical portion so remember uh, i want to mention uh, here student uh, when the embryo they are having the two cotyledon and they are having the plumule okay they are having the plumule inside and they are having the hypocotyl region they are having the radical portion so from this the radical uh, radical okay from this radical they get differentiated and there is a formation of the root cap when the embryo they are having all the all its parts then uh, the suspensor they are not having its own function so the suspensor they get degenerate at this stage okay they, they are not having uh, its own function because embryo get fully developed then that embryo fully developed embryo they shows their final organization inside this the ovule okay inside this ovule means uh, we are studied right from this zygote and inside this central cell how the embryo is developed that embryo they show is the of the final organization means they are in the cotyledon structure they are in the plumule and from this side there is a differentiation of uh, the radical okay from this side there is a differentiation of uh, the radical so this is the final organization of embryo inside the ovule so student here we have studied uh, the uh, embryo development in dicot plant then uh, uh, now uh, we will discuss here how the in monocot right from uh, the eight cell stage embryo okay uh, so now we see that so in uh, monocot uh, the embryo development is uh, slightly different uh, right from uh, the eight cell stage embryo okay in eight cell stage embryo what we see uh, the epibasal tire uh, they take part in the development of plumule and cotyledon in case of dicot there is a formation of two cotyledon and in case of monocot there is a formation of one cotyledon so how that one cotyledon it is developed and uh, due to development of the apical one larger cotyledon uh, how that plumule it is pushed towards the lateral side uh, this is most important okay so see uh, the next to this eight cell stage there is, there is a rapid division uh, in the uh, embryonal mass means that eight cell stage embryo uh such a type of the structure is developed okay such type of the structure is developed 
and here uh, this region this uh, uppermost region uh, from this region uh, there is a formation of uh, the cotyledon so cotyledon uh, going to develop from this upper portion of the embryonal mass and from this lower side there is a differentiation of the plumule so when the plumule they differentiate from this side uh, this cotyledon it is developed towards its apex side so there is a development of cotyledon towards the apex side automatically the plumule they are shifted towards the lateral side okay so this is as usual uh, just like dicot embryo there is, this is a suspensor cell and uh, uh, this is a few uh, the hypophyseal cell uh, which take part in the development of uh, the part of radicle and the root cap okay then uh, see in this uh, the, because of the development of this single large cotyledon the plumule they are shifted towards the lateral side or towards the one side and this is the uh, formed a radical portion and when there is a formation of the cotyledon plumule radical okay uh, here there is no function of the suspensor though so that suspensor they get degenerated okay degenerated so uh, this is a final stage uh, step of embryo development in case of monocot then finally that monocot embryo how it is look like so see toward the uh, this is a finally developed monocot embryo it is it is having uh, the plumule so this is the plumule and it is having the radical so around the plumule and radical the protective sheath it is developed or the thin membranous protective layer it is developed uh, that layer see that layer when it is developed around the plumule uh, so this layer that layer it is called as a coleoptile and when that layer it is developed around the radical this layer it is called as a coleorhiza okay coleorhiza then uh, this uh, uh, both the plumule and radical uh, it is covered by the shield shaped s h i e l d shield shield manje marathi madhe apan tala dhal manto ढाली आकाराच सिंगल कॉटिलिडॉन डेवलप होता कि जे कॉटिलिडॉन हे दोनी प्लिम्यूल रैडिकल ल कवर करते सो हे प्लिम्यूल है रैडिकल है हा दो शील्ड शेपड ओके सो सिंगल कॉटिलिडॉन इज हम एंड दैट शील्ड शेपड सिंगल कॉटिलिडॉन इट इज कोल्ड एज ए स्कूटेलम ओके इट इज अ स्कूटेलम एंड इट इज अ शील्ड शेपड बाहरून ढाली आकाराच दिस्त मन तसच नाव दिल शील्ड शेप्ड इधे एम्ब्रिओलॉजी मध्य स्कूटेलम अंतो सो स्कूटेलम इट इज अ सिंगल कॉटिलिडॉन डेवलप देन ऑन वन साइड एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट टू दैट ए फ्लैप सेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर इज सीन दैट फ्लैप सेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर इट इज कोल्ड एज ए एपी ब्लास्ट सो रिमेम्बर स्टूडेंट Uh, that epiblast it is a flap shaped outgrowth it is developed in case of uh, the monocot embryo and it is a similar as like uh, the second cotyledon in dicot but it is not a true cotyledon only it is a flap like structure uh, it is developed in the monocot embryo so that flap like structure it is called as epiblast so student this is the finally organized monocot embryo so this is where uh, the embryo development in case of monocot and previously uh, we have studied the embryo development in case of the dicot so student with this now we will stop at this moment i think we have studied in detail each and every step of embryo development uh in case of the dicot and monocot so uh student uh, i think you understand well uh you uh study uh you have to study uh, uh this embryo development at home uh so now we stop here at this moment